All right, guys, now we've got our hands on a live model. Okay, all right, all right. Once was live. All right, once was live. This is a sheep brain that you're going to be dissecting <laughs> in class. Um, and we've kind of started to dissect it a little bit already so you can see the different layers of it. Uh, but from here, you can see basically what we looked at on the plastic model, uh, the cerebrum, which still has its left and its right uh, hemisphere. And they're separated by the longitudinal fissure down the middle. Now, here you can see it's got a really thick layer of stuff between it. Now those are what we call the meninges. There are three layers of the meninges. The superficial, very white, thick one we can see here is the dura mater. And then on the other hemisphere where Karina's cut it out, you can kind of see a shiny layer. That's our arachnoid layer. So it's going to be in the middle of the three layers. Yeah, it kind of looks a little bit like their saran wrap. And it's easy if you take a look at the grooves. You so can kind of see it's it. like she can't put the probe down in between the grooves right. at all um, because of that layer. Right. And then under there, there would be the pia layer. Mm -hmm. That one, I can't even see it. No, nope. it's it's like microscopic, but it's going to follow each and every groove throughout the whole brain. Now, we can also see the transverse fissure, which will help us separate the cerebellum and the cerebrum kind of right in there. Again, another thick layer of these meninges that cut down into that layer. And from the bottom, one of the things before we actually start dissecting is going to be for you guys to take some time to view the olfactory bulb which is kind of butchered. Thank you, people who cut this brain out. Okay. Um, the optic nerve, which is gonna cross there, and then the optic chiasma, you can see it kind of cross in the middle. Let's see if I can get that, there we go. And then the optic tract will also continue down the same way we saw on the plastic brain. From here, you can also see the pituitary gland pretty well nestled in there between a bunch of nerves and gook and wrapped around with the dura mater as well. So it can sit right and comfy in that little sphenoid. Not, I'm shaking everything. Sphenoid bone. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. So in getting started, once you've identified all of your external features, then you want to very carefully start your dissection. And what you can see that I've done here is I've taken apart already some of the dura mater. And you'll see that it's, it's kind of the consistency of paper. And it follows all the way around, all the way around these optic nerves as we were looking at before, and around the pituitary gland. So when you start your dissection, you want to completely remove all of this. It also is going to fold um, down into the longitudinal fissure. So we're going to take all that off, and I'll remove it before the next video. But in just getting back to what Marcia was saying about um, the arachnoid, you can see that I can't, I can't put my probe inside there, inside those grooves. So if you want to take a look at it, very, very gently take your scalpel and make an incision, and you'll be able to lift it up just a little bit. I don't know if you've, that's seen very well in the video, but you'll be able to see it when you actually get a chance to do this in class. So uh, we're gonna pause right now. I'm gonna remove the dura, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to continue the dissection, and we'll look at the internal features.